the motivational interview. Diabetes involves many lifestyle changes. It's hard for people to make changes and even harder to sustain them. We know that telling people what to do is not usually effective. We also know that improving someone's knowledge doesn't change their behavior. Just because you know you should eat healthier food doesn't mean you do. People may not be able to afford healthier food or may hesitate between wanting to eat healthier and giving up a favorite food or drink. How can we as providers really help? It's most effective to involve the person, to ask them what they think they can do and help them work through their challenges. Here's an example of how it can be done. Mary is here for her routine diabetes visit. After a few minutes of catching up, you check her blood sugar. Her fasting blood sugar is high and she has gained five kilos over the last three months. You ask her if she has any idea why. She tells you that her new job is so boring, she has slipped into some unhealthy habits. She's snacking on sweets and sugary drinks at work. You ask Mary if she thinks the sweets may be making her blood sugar worse. Mary agrees. She's aware that sweets aren't healthy, but she didn't realize they could make such a difference in her blood sugar and her weight. Reflect on her thoughts about eating sweets. You may say, it sounds like you understand that if you reduce the sweets, it will help your blood sugar levels, but it also sounds like sweets are helping you cope with the boredom at your job. Reflecting back makes a person feel heard and valued. Listen for the person's insights and ideas especially for her thoughts about how a behavior change could be good for her and what realistic ways she can take action. You ask Mary if she has any ideas about how she might make healthy changes at work. She says walking during her lunch break could make the job more bearable and she can start bringing healthier snacks like fruit. You tell Mary that's a very good way to start a healthy change. Finishing the visit, you tell Mary that you would like her blood sugar level to improve and are encouraged that she has come up with a plan to walk and reduce sweets. You believe she can do it and look forward to seeing her in three months. Remember, Involve the person with diabetes in recognizing their need to make changes and finding their own solutions. This is the key to motivation and real behavior change. <laughs>